Two major instances of idolatry in the Bible are directly connected with ancient Egypt. One occurred under the leadership of Aaron while Moses was delayed on Mount Sinai, and the other was initiated by Jeroboam after he successfully took control of a fragmented Israeli kingdom. These instances share the image of their idolatry, calves. Both took place during a vulnerable time of transition and so probably served to reassure and unify. So why cows? In the case of the golden calf incident during the days of Moses and Aaron, Israel had just escaped oppression in Egypt and had been traveling to the promised land, facing opposition and physical warfare on their way. They made a pit stop at Mount Sinai where Moses left them to go and receive instruction from God. When he didn't return, the people assumed him dead, themselves abandoned. They forced Aaron to make an idol for them to worship and inquire of for help. Why a calf? In the case of Jeroboam, who himself had just returned from taking refuge in Egypt, away from King Solomon, who had a price on his head, he was the king of a newly formed northern Israel. He had the allegiance of most of the tribes, but had lost the crown jewel of the nation, Solomon's Jerusalem temple. Jeroboam's answer was to set up two sacred areas within his territory so that the people would not travel back into his rival's dominion to worship or celebrate the feasts of the Lord. Again, Jeroboam's idols of choice were cows. While the full meaning of the golden cows may not be ascertainable, the connection with Egypt is likely not a coincidence. The ancient Egyptians worshipped a few deities that utilized bull and cow imagery. They had a sacred bull cult dedicated to the life and death cycles of the god of the underworld, involving cycles of worshipping, then slaughtering living bulls. Even more widespread was their worship of the cow goddess Hathor. She was sometimes depicted as a full cow and sometimes as a human with a cow's head or ears. The cow was seen as life-giving. She sustained life through her milk. It was even said of some pharaohs that they were nursed by Hathor. This cow goddess empowered, sustained, and imparted divinity to the king's rule. Due to Hathor's nature as a goddess of provision, it seems a natural possibility that in Israel's time of need, they turned to a familiar cult to rescue them, without a leader, in hostile territory, with vulnerable families. Likewise, Jeroboam needing to unify his people even further likely reached into his pop culture to provide an alternative. Justification for his apostasy may even have been pillaged from the imagery of the temple itself. The temple's bronze basin sat on 12 bronze bulls. These bulls were not symbols of God, but their association with the temple, strength, and even the 12 tribes could have paved the way towards cultural justification. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this spotlight, please like it, share it with a friend, and leave us a comment below on what you thought. Also, don't forget to click the bell and subscribe for the latest Bible discovery content.